Anthony C. Strollo, June 18, 1899, disappeared April 8, 1962, also known as Tony Bender, was a New York mobster who served as a high-ranking couple of the Genovese crime family for several decades. Biography Early years Anthony Strollo was born in New York City, the son of Cal O'Brien immigrants Leone and Jill Renan Negro. Strollo grew up in Manhattan near the Manhattan Bridge. Strollo had two brothers, Emilio and Dominic. He married a woman named Edna Goldenberg, who bore him several children. Strollo was a cousin of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania mobster Lenny Strollo and Dante Strollo, a member of the Youngstown, Ohio, Cosa Nostra family. Strollo was of medium height and weight with sandy brown hair. Associates described him as usually having a doleful look. Strollo's legitimate job was that of a real estate salesman. During Prohibition, Strollo gained a formidable reputation as a bootlegger and hitman. In the early to mid 1920s, Strollo worked for gang boss Giuseppe, Joe the Boss Masria. After the Castel Amaris War began in 1931, Strollo defected to Masria's rival, Salvatore Maranzano, and became a trusted lieutenant and gunman. Luciano regime following the death of Maranzano, Strollo joined the Luciano crime family, headed by boss Charles Lucky Luciano. Strollo became a couple for Luciano and under boss Vito Genovese. Strollo assumed control of the Greenwich Village crew, operating illegal gambling in New York's Greenwich Village and Lower Manhattan districts. On June 18, 1936, boss Luciano was sentenced to 30 to 50 years in prison on a pandering charge making under boss Vito Genovese the acting boss. Genovese designated Strollo as his underboss. Costello regime in 1937, facing a probable murder indictment, Genovese fled to Italy. Genovese wanted Strollo to keep control of the family for him, but Genovese's rival, Frank Costello, took over as acting boss and designated Willie Moretti as underboss. In 1946, after being extradited from Italy to the United States and escaping indictment, Genovese returned to the family as a capo with Strollo as his assistant. Strollo supervised Genovese's rackets in Greenwich Village and the New Jersey waterfront for the next 10 years. Strollo successfully operated a string of Greenwich Village nightclubs, including the popular Black Cat, The Hollywood, The 19th Hole, some say Christopher, Christy Tick, Fernari of the Lucchese crime family ran the 19th hole, and the village inn. On December 17, 1952, Strollo was summoned to testify at the New York State Crime Commission hearings. He was an uncooperative witness, claiming either a bad memory or refusing to testify based on his Fifth Amendment right under the U.S. Constitution against self-incrimination. Genovese regime in 1957, Strollo assisted Genovese in planning an assassination attempt on Frank Costello. On the day of the murder attempt, Strollo met with Costello in the late afternoon and learned his itinerary for the evening. Strollo then passed that information on to Genovese's hitman. Although Costello was only slightly wounded in the attack, he immediately retired from the family and passed the leadership to Genovese. Genovese now ran what is today known as the Genovese crime family. In 1959, Strollo changed loyalties again and joined in a conspiracy against Genovese. After a secret meeting with Gambino crime family boss Carlo Gambino, Strollo allegedly participated in a plot to set up Genovese on a drug trafficking conviction. In 1959, Genovese was sent to prison for 15 years on narcotics trafficking charges. The imprisoned Genovese now allegedly decided to kill Strollo. One theory is that Genovese learned that Strollo had betrayed him. However, a second theory states that Strollo had cheated Genovese of tribute from a drug operation. Disappearance on the morning of April 8, 1962, Strollo disappeared after leaving his residence in Fort Lee, New Jersey. His remains were never recovered and no one was ever charged in his disappearance. When government witness Joseph Valici later visited Genovese in prison, Genovese allegedly hinted at responsibility for Strollo's murder. 
See also list of people who disappeared. References Further reading Bernstein, Lee, The Greatest Menace, Organized Crime in Cold War America, Boston, UMass Press, 2002, ISBN 1-55849-345-X, Joey, David Fisher, Joey the Hitman, The Autobiography of a Mafia Killer, New York, Thunder's Mouth Press, 2004, ISBN 1-56025-393-2 Quitney, Jonathan. Vicious Circles. The Mafia in the Marketplace. New York. W. W. Norton, 1979. ISBN 0-393-01188-7 Valentine, Douglas. The Strength of the Wolf. The Secret History of America's War on Drugs. New York. R. R. Donnelly and Sons. 2004. ISBN 1-85984-568-1. Winterberger, Robert and the Washington Payoff, An Insider's View of Corruption in Government. New York, Dell Publishing, 1972. Notes Fox, Stephen. Blood and Power, Organized Crime in 20th Century America. New York, William Morrow and Company. 1989. ISBN 0-688-04350-X. Kelly, Robert J. Encyclopedia of Organized Crime in the United States. Westport, Connecticut. Greenwood Press, 2000. ISBN 0-313-30653-2. Syphakis, Carl. The Encyclopedia of American Crime. New York. Facts on File Incorporated. 2001. ISBN 0-8160-4040-0. Mafia, The Government's Secret File on Organized Crime.